Chapter 12 Know Your Land Nowadays, what all changes took place in our land? Anu loves listening to the stories of the past, as usual after supper. Grandmother began telling on, Son, our land was not like this in the past. Houses with thatched roofs and dung flooring. Nice lights dimly with kerosene lanterns. Kitchens with a ural, uri, earthen pots and vessels. Very few who went to school. What else could they do? The children became fed up walking a long distance. More miserable was the plight of the people carrying loads. As there were no proper roads, they had to walk along longer paths in the heavy loads on their heads. The load dress on the side of their way was indeed a single relief. How different is a village today? Do you listen to the grandmother's story of the land? What is the name of your land? Won't your land also have a story like this? How can we know it? Whom will you inquire it? You can ask your grandmother or elders. Ask your elders about your land. What all will you ask? The agriculture of the time, festivals, food, place of worship, home appliances, etc. Every land has a history of its own. While you try to know about your land, did you come across anything like that in the picture and write down? There are some signs around us even today that, that remind the history of land. We must consult them. My land today. My land had changed a lot from the past. In what areas have these changes come upon? Let us try to know. My land. Agriculture, transport, kitchen, utensils, communication. In the past, using animals such as cow, ox. Today, tractors. In the past, bullocks and carts are used for transportation. But today, they are using cars, bus and scooters. Uh, for kitchen utensils, they use uh, earthen pots in the past and non-stick pans uh, were replaced by them. Uh, also, the communication was also ad advanced from letters to mobile phones and emails. The changes were made according to the needs of the people. The changes, is land, changes in land improve the standard of living of the people. Changes continue to occur as needs increases. Did you know who owns the responsibility for fulfilling the common needs of the people of a land? Today, local self-government fulfill the common needs of a people of a locality. Do you know who owns the responsibility for fulfilling the common needs of the people of a land? Today, Local self-government fulfill the common needs of a people of a locality. The people of a locality elect their representatives to this local self-government. The representatives are elected by voting, which are the local self-government bodies. Grama Panjayat, municipalities and corporations are the local government bodies. The Panjayat president is the head of Grama Panjayat. Municipal Chairman is the head of the municipality. Mayor is the head of the corporation. The elected representatives from each ward and or division decides their administrative head. Kerala has the tire system of local government. They are Grama Panjayat, Block Panjayat, Zilla Panjayat. In the urban areas, it is a municipality or corporation. Municipalities. Municipality Chairman is the head of the municipality. The elected representative of a municipality is called Councillor. Corporation Mayor is the head of the corporation. The elected representative from each ward or division decides their administrative head. The elected representative of a corporation is called Councillor. Identify the name and write them down. Or about your Grama Panjayat, Blok Panjayat and Jilla Panjayat. The elected representative of a Panjayat is called a ward member. The elected representatives of a corporation or municipality is called a councillor. 
who is a ward member and counselor don't they take part in the important function of your school grama panchayat in the grama sabha people of a locality assemble to discuss the development needs of a locality based on the discussion they suggest new new schemes school as a public institution school is a public institution school provides the facility and services to learn and grow education is a right school ensures the right to education what are the facilities and services you get at school and learn and to learn learn and grow textbooks scholarship etc public institutions serve to fulfill the needs of the people police station maintains law and order provide security to life and property library increase reading habits personality development knowledge skills bank place where we keep money safe bank also provide loans a ration shop it distributes subsidies good like wheat sugar and rice club meeting new people learning new skills getting better at time management kudumbasree helps in women empowerment and leadership quality skill training and self sufficiency let's unite for a better future we have learned about local self government bodies and public institutions besides this there are other institutions and organizations that work for the welfare of the people library clubs kudumbasree unit we have discussed about these in the above slides which are the other organizations in your locality our land has many things we can proud of it's a proud of it is a unit of people that lead us to progress of a locality the unity of people is the strength of a land do you know significant learning outcomes the learner identify that our land has a history and records it identify and explain the symbols of our history understand and explain the various changes that have come upon our land identify and explains that the progress of a locality is based on the needs of the people identify and state that the land has its own form of government and that administrative bodies fulfill the needs of the people explain the gram grama panchayat municipalities corporations are local self government institutions and that are grama panchayats block panchayats jilla panchayats make three tier system of the panchayats explain about the public institution and their services